What's up, guys? Coaster Source here. In Phantom's Revenge, a coaster with the second drop being larger than the first one. It's a great terrain coaster located at Kennywood, and today I'll be reviewing it. So to start out, originally this coaster was called Steel Phantom, which was an Aero Hyper coaster that had multiple inversions, uh, and it was known for not being the like the best ride. But then it came in Morgan. The track was reprofiled, removing the four inversions it had and adding in elements such as the Great Airtime Hills, and it has been raved about ever since. So of course, these stats. It is located at Kennywood. The main Manufacturer is Morgan. It is 160 feet tall, but of course that drop is way bigger at 228 feet. It is 85 miles per hour, very fast. It has no inversions compared to four it used to have, and it has a length of uh, 3,200 feet. As you can see, those stats are very impressive, especially like the drop, which definitely makes this coaster a terrain coaster because Kennywood is on a big hill right next to the river. Now, just this coaster is just so cool. Uh, like every element is put together like perfection. It just feels like I mean, like the second drop is like awesome. Just gives you like tons of speed and of course that speed is for the great airtime hills through the ride and those airtime hills will be a lot different if the ride do not have these restraints which are very wacky restraints but are very like they give you lots of room they're very open there really is like there's like so much room before like between you and the bar which of course this allows you to fly out of your seat on those airtime hills which is like great now the drops of course there are two drops the second one of course being bigger than the first one and that first drop is good i mean it's nothing to shout at but man that second drop is awesome it just speed down this thing it is a fantastic drop now of course all of this wouldn't be really fun if it was rough and this coaster is smooth as heck i did not find a tiny bit of shakiness or roughness on this ride which is great it's just another great improvement to phantom's revenge which steel phantom used to be and it actually seemed like it was a little bit rough, the old Steel Phantom. But otherwise, this thing just looks cool. Like, from the station, right like below that drop, almost everywhere you can see it. It just looks really stunning. Now, let's go through the ride experience. You'll leave the station and go up this very slow lift hill. It is slow, but that allows you to great great views of the park. I mean, you could just look back and see, like, the whole river and everything around you. And, like, it's like everything around you is just so stunning to look at. Now, you will get to the top and go down this curved drop, the first out of the two drops. And this one is good, like I said earlier. But then you'll go through a little bit of a straight section and then speed up into the first big hill and go down that main drop which like I said is 228 feet tall which is a fantastic drop I mean the back is the spot on that drop you'll get pulled over which is a great element there is this nice little effect where you go like o like over and under Thunderbolt which is like a good head chopper where you go under it but then you will shoot back up and go through this massive bank turn and like once again get great views of the river to your right you will go down to this quick tunnel turn around and here comes the air tunnel you will quickly pop through these first two ejector airtime moments, go back down and go through this fantastic double down, go through like a low to the ground bank turn and up into another airtime moment and into the brakes. I mean, I did go through those elements pretty quickly, but like they don't like really need explanation. Like every single one of those airtime moments is like similar to each other and it's just really good. I mean, you really only can experience these type of airtime on Phantom's Revenge just like because of course the restraints, which now leads us to the final score. What am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I was like a little disappointed because I was coming in like to this ride uh, expecting maybe like a top 15, maybe even top 10 coaster, but I was let down a little, but overall, this ride is just awesome. Definitely take the trip out to Kennywood to ride this thing, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments, and if you agree with my opinions, just comment them down below. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. It helps a lot, and see ya!